exclusive live radar, your three-minute advantage, so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. Some fog in areas of drizzle and mist continue across portions of central Alabama this evening. We'll see rain showers increasing in coverage overnight tonight. A batch of moisture down to our south is lifting up to the north. That rolls in mainly after midnight tonight. So occasional showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two late tonight through our Saturday. Here's a look at our forecast over the next 12 hours. Temperatures, they'll be stuck in the 60s. 100% humidity, cloudy skies, more fog, more drizzle, more mist, and occasional rain showers through the night and into early tomorrow morning. You can see that here in our forecast model. Some of those small showers coming up from the southwest. Occasionally, some briefly heavy rain falling. Again, the chance for an isolated thunderstorm or two, but we're not expecting any severe weather with this system. Late tomorrow afternoon into the evening, we're watching as a cold front begins to move in from the northwest that will bring in another chance for more of those showers and a few thunderstorms late tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening. Then eventually all this clearing out of here during the day on Sunday. So we'll see gradually improving weather conditions for our Sunday afternoon. Maybe some sunshine late in the day. Also much chillier temperatures behind this cold front. Sunday afternoon high temperatures only in the 50s. That's going to be sharply different compared to what we've seen the last several days with highs near record values in the low 70s. During the day on Monday, an area of low pressure beginning to form in the northern Gulf of Mexico. This is going to head toward the Florida Peninsula. We'll see our clouds increase again late in the day Monday and maybe some rain showers moving back in late Monday night through our Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon. So really two weather days this uh, stretch over the next seven that we'll watch really closely. It's going to be tomorrow with the rain rolling in and then again for our Tuesday. Let's talk football. UAB, BYU and the Independence Bowl in Shreveport this Saturday. Yeah, same system. Bad news affecting that game. It looks like a lot of rain. Kickoff rain, chilly temperatures in the upper 50s, lingering showers into the second half. So overall just looks like a wet bowl football game. So we'll see how things play out there in Shreveport this weekend. Our seven day forecast impact weather for tomorrow. Showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Highs near 70. Improving weather conditions Sunday drying out, but turning colder. 54 the high, 58 after being down into the 30s first thing Monday morning. Tuesday, more rain likely. It'll be light rain. Temperatures in the 50s. Then we dry out and we'll see gradually moderating temperatures into the second half of next week. You're watching WVTM 13 News.